Aunts and Uncles. When Auntie Jane became a crane, she put one leg behind her head, and even when the clock struck ten, refused to go to bed. When Auntie Grace became a place, she all but vanished sideways on. Except her nose and pointed toes, the rest of her was gone. When Uncle Wog became a dog, he hid himself for shame. He sometimes hid his bone as well and wouldn't hear the front doorbell or answer to his name. When Auntie Flo became a crow, she had a bed put in a tree, and there she lay and read all day of ornithology. When Auntie Vi became a fly, her favourite nephew sought her life. How could he know that with each blow he bruised his uncle's wife? When Uncle Sam became a ham, we did not care to carve him up. He struggled so we let him go and gave him to the pup. When Auntie Nag became a crag, she stared across the dawn to where her spouse kept open house with ladies on the lawn. When Auntie Mig became a pig, she floated on the briny breeze with irritation in her heart and warts upon her knees. When Auntie Jill became a pill, she stared all day through dark blue glass and always sneered when men appeared to ask her how she was. When Uncle Jake became a snake, he never found it out, and so as no one mentions it, one sees him still about.